Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Springfield, Missouri with JC News Now as he attempts to, well, get some public records from the police department only to find that he is locked out and he wants to file complaints on the officers for doing so. Oh boy, what a moron you are, Jimmy boy. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody? JC News now. Let's go see if we can get a couple of the uh, complaint forms. This is Springfield Police Department, South Division. How do you get in? Uh, Jimmy boy, I know you're not the most observant person in the world. Heck, I even know that you're not exactly the most well-read person in the world at this point. But uh, it would uh, benefit you to realize that that uh, may be a key card reader right there, which is why you probably weren't able to get in through this door right there. So uh, think about that for future reference. Okay there, buddy? I don't guess you do. It says it's closed to the public. Well, Jimmy Boy right here is uh, a little butthurt about this police department being closed to the public. And, uh, well, he decides to retaliate for a while and film the police officer's vehicles out there. And then he decides to try the entrance again but with the same results. So let's continue on, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey! Oh, we're just gonna ignore me? Well, there's only so long that uh, these officers can ignore some lame brain moron who doesn't understand that some buildings are closed off to the public. So one of them comes out to, to find out whether or not Jimmy Boy needs help getting back to one of the local mental health facilities that he apparently escaped from. Hey, can I get a couple of complaint forms? A couple of complaint forms? Officer complaint forms. Uh, you find those online. I, I can do it in person too, right? Okay, yeah, you gotta go up to police headquarters. This building's close to the public right now. What if I'm on foot? Huh? I'm on foot. Well, you can order a taxi, I guess. Is that just how you intimidate people out of filing complaints? Can you just get me one, please? What's your name, Locke? Officer Locke. You got a uh, badge number? 1811. Okay, cool. Uh, what if someone tries to force me to give my social security number? What do you mean, forces you? Like a citizen? Two gangsters. Two gangsters? Yeah. I probably wouldn't give it to them. I know their names, but they kidnapped me afterwards. One of them's name is Henry, and one of them's name is Chronister. Henry and Chronister. Okay, yeah. so you're stating the officers. Yes. Okay. Thugs. Gangsters. Okay. What's this incident you're referring to? Is this why you want to file a complaint? Yeah, well, that's coming with the lawsuit. Okay, and do you you have a phone that works with your phone number? Do you know you can call into the police station and, and talk directly to our internal affairs? Yeah, that doesn't work. I've tried that. You tried that? Yeah, they they give me the run around. Okay. Well, what else would you like me to do for you? Go in there and get me a couple complaint you want forms. A complaint form? Two. Yeah, is there any reason why you're walking around videoing all of our cars and trying to video in the police station? Yeah, I'm doing a story. 
You have a story, okay. Yeah. Well, let me go see if I can find some complaint forms. Like I said, that normally is handled at headquarters, but let me see if I can print some off for you, okay? You know what? Yeah. That's all right. I'll go, I'll figure it out. Uh, what are we going to do about these gangsters that are forcing people to give their social security number? You know, that's against the 1974 Privacy Act. That's a crime. Uh, if they're not Jimmy boy, you just love to uh, pull shit out of your ass, don't you? The that 1974 act applies to uh, government agencies giving out information. It doesn't have anything to do with gray matter challenged imbeciles like you giving their social security number at their time of arrest. So once again, uh, you fail to do your uh, research properly. So please try, try, try again until you get it right. But then again, I guess I shouldn't expect anything other than a flat out quote mine, lie, or anything else like that out of you because that's all you're good for. Officer has a lawful detention asking for your identifiers. Is that what you're saying? Social security numbers. Okay, that's part of your identifiers. No. Did you give him a driver's license number? No. I gave him my name and date of birth. Name, date of birth, and driver's license, or social is what we have to have to be able to check someone for warrants. According to the law, it's name, date of birth, name, and address. That's the only thing required in Missouri. Okay. Why are y'all forcing laws like that? That's tyrannical, sir. I agree with you, okay? It's very standard that we ask for everyone's name, date of birth. We also ask for a lot more information than that normally. Can I help you, sir? Let's close your public, sir. Police, police headquarters is where you got to file a report or do anything like that, okay? I just wanted to use the bathroom. Yeah, no, I can't use the restroom. I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to go get you some complaint form, sir? No, I'm going to do it with the lawsuit. But what are we going to do about these officers that are illegally... They're breaking the law by asking people for their socials. Disagree with you, okay? Well, you might want to research it. Okay. Are you a lieutenant or are you a patrolman? I'm an officer. An officer? Well, you're not an officer. You're not in the service. Patrolman. Okay. I am a police officer. That is my title. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's... So is that's, there anything else I can do for you, sir? I think that's about it, man. You are dismissed. Okay. Well, like I said, I can get you those forms if you want. Otherwise, you can call up to police headquarters or you can go directly in police headquarters. Okay. All right. Um, I would just say from now on, comply with officers if they have a lawful detention, okay? If, if they don't have a lawful detention mm -hmm. and they can articulate that, then it is within your rights not to identify yourself, okay? But if they have a lawful detention, then you have a legal obligation to identify yourself. If you do not, you are breaking the law, okay? And you're right. in violation of city ordinance and state law and you can be cited or taken to jail. All right, lawful arrest. Lawful detention. No, that's against the Fourth Amendment, sir. That is not true. <laughs> yes, it is, A man. Lawful detention. Uh, Jimmy boy, you should really learn the Fourth Amendment as well. That covers unreasonable searches and seizures. When you are being arrested, it is not unreasonable to identify the person being arrested. You know, for legal purposes, that way they can properly give you your trial and everything like that. It's called due process, you moron. Now, we're going to go ahead and skip past this part and go to another video where he attempted to call the mayor's office over this. Oh, boy, it is, well... A sight to behold at the very least. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to make a phone call today. I'm going to ask the mayor, how come a tax-funded police department is closed? Have you ever heard of a police department being closed? Locked down. Locked down. Couldn't even use the bathroom. Hey, Jimmy boy. Uh, you really should get out more because there are a lot of taxpayer-funded buildings that are closed to the general public for security reasons. In fact, I uh, encourage you to go to Washington, D.C. and try this with the Pentagon and find out how far you'll get inside. I'm willing to bet that you won't make it past the front gates. It's ridiculous. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> 
many, many minutes later. Any question, Officer, may I help you? Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to reach the mayor's office. I can help you with that. Th I, thank you. I'm not actually in the office, but I'd be happy to take a message for him. Well, um, uh, I'd really like to speak to him if he's got a few minutes. Okay. What is your name? And I can give him the message. I'm JC. And your last name? I'm not going to give that. Oh, okay. Um, what phone number would you reach you at? I'm not going to give that either. I can give you an email. And maybe you can help me. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm curious... As a taxpayer, I tried to go get a couple of complaint forms at the Springfield South Police Department this morning. And they've got their doors locked. Is this a good way for our tax dollars to be spent? The South Precinct. Battlefield. It, I think it's on Battlefield. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you have the message over to him, and I have your phone number or your email address for him, and your first name's JC. Right, and what do you think about that? Do you think that's a good way for our tax dollars to be spent? That's theft, you isn't would, it? You would just have to get this message to him, and he would have to answer that. All right, is there anyone else I can talk to right now? Because as a taxpayer, I'm upset, and I'd like to uh, air my grievances. And and I'm just going to end it right there because he spends the next several minutes uh, going back and forth, uh, trying to get the opinion of this secretary right here, who's doing her job to the best of her ability. She's not supposed to give an opinion about anything that he asks about. Her job is just to direct him to the proper place, and that's it. He always does this. He tries to get the opinion of people who are not supposed to give out their opinion because of legal reasons, and so he can entrap them. That's his deal. But point being... He attempted to call the mayor over a security issue that he knows nothing about. Oh, Jimmy boy, you are probably one of the biggest morons out there. Not every freaking building that is taxpayer funded is open to the public. But of course, Jimmy boy right here, he lost his brain so many years ago that he can't figure this stuff out, so he's got to complain, complain, complain about something. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, stupidity out of this guy in this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?